Now is not the time to turn your back on ICP. There is so much happening in the ecosystem, yet so much FUD going around in the community, on Twitter spaces, on X, everywhere. And I'm here to tell you that you should not be fading ICP. In fact, you should be looking to stack ICP. Again, so much is going on. We're going to talk about what are some of the things happening in the ICP ecosystem. And I'm also going to give an updated price prediction for 2024. Can it get back to $100? Can it get back to $700? I'll answer those questions towards the end of the video. Let's take a look under the hood and what is happening with the internet computer protocol here from the ICP dashboard. You can see just a brief, a brief overview without clicking any charts. You can just see to the right, everything is going up. You have total canister state that is up. Internet identities were over 2.5 million. Uh, circulating supply 466. Now this is one point of the internet computer is the tokenomics that people continue to talk about in a negative light. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the tokenomics and why it won't necessarily matter if ICP fulfills everything is looking to do. Also taking a look at transactions that is up 12.8 million transactions. Uh, and then speaking of transactions, their TPS currently is right around 4,800 transactions per second. Um, and so ICP from a tech side is extremely solid. Now, what are they doing with partnerships? Are they building partnerships? Uh, they are. And so let's take a look at one of the first things they're doing, uh, Utopia. So Definity announces new ICP powered platform to tackle cybersecurity. According to a press release shared with Cointelegraph, uh, the platform, dubbed Utopia, is a private serverless cloud infrastructure designed for government entities and enterprise organizations. Now, I saw a lot of negative chatter about this and why are they partnering with governments and nation states and yada, yada, yada. At the end of the day, the idea is to onboard as many people. Now, if you have the capabilities and the flexibility to build products for users build products for enterprises, but also build products for uh, for nation states and governments, why the hell not? And so that is what Utopia is looking to do. It will enable artificial intelligence to run securely, allowing native management of digital assets and allow governments to attain sovereignty. This is a quote from Dominic Williams, the founder and chief scientist at Definity. Utopia reinvents compute by solving for the greatest IT challenges of our time, cybersecurity, resilience, IT productivity, and sovereignty. Uh, Definity's Utopia aims to help governments attain sovereignty through AI. Again, in a press release, Dominic said, quote, governments are wary of cloud services as they must surrender sensitive data to them. Utopia offers a solution by enabling them to operate next generation private sovereign clouds over home country hardware that have game changing security properties. Be hard pressed to find anyone talking about ICP's tech and how it's bad. And these are just some of the things that the internet computer can do. We also take a look at what are they doing for their ecosystem? We have this from Web3 Labs. ICP and Web3 Labs Accelerator officially launches on July 5th. Web3 Labs announced the launch of the Web3 Accelerator for the ICP ecosystem, which will work in collaboration with Olympus. Uh, we sincerely invite innovative global Web3 teams to join us. The Accelerator aims to bring high-quality projects into the ICP ecosystem and its chain integration ecosystem, inject innovative vitality, unearth and accelerate potential projects in the Web3 field, and help the rapid growth of projects through financial aid, technical guidance, marketing, and other comprehensive supports. We continue to see ICP at the top of the list of developer commits, and now we're seeing them um, getting towards the top of the list of spending money to grow their ecosystem. Uh, you heard a lot about other projects. I won't name them, but spending a vast amount of money on marketing. Uh, you have to spend money to bring people in the ecosystem. Polygon does it. Polkadot does it. Now, to some of them, it falls flat on their face. Hopefully, we'll see what ICP does. But when people come in and see the technology and see how easy it is to build on there and how user-friendly it is on the back end with such things as reverse gas models and how secure it is with everything running on chain, uh, I find it hard to believe that people won't not only build on ICP, but stay in the ICP ecosystem. Expanding globally, ICP is partnering with the United Nations to launch a digital credentials pilot starting in the country of Cambodia. Cambodia has been chosen as the site of a pilot program for a blockchain-based platform for the Universal Trusted Credentials 
referred to as UTC, which is a digital credentialing system develop, uh, developed by the United Nations Development Program. The DFINITY Foundation will work with the UNDP on the program. It is intended to encourage the participation of micro, small, and medium enterprises in the digital economy. The pilot is expected to roll out in 10 countries in due time, but as mentioned, starting with Cambodia. And you can see here some of the things they talk about being available in their semi-fungible token uh, with their project. Uh, you have basic company information, business relationships and activity, financial information such as credit risk and reputation, and non-financial information such as ESG compliance and classification. So they're doing that. What they're also doing uh, is they're making headlines in Forbes. So Forbes specifically pointed to the internet computer and how SEO in Web3, if you're not familiar, search engine optimization, any business that is ran online, uh, search engine optimization is extremely important. And Web3, as we move into Web3, uh, it's nonetheless important. So here we go from Forbes. So here in the section, talk about a Web3 overview. They go over... Uh, decentralization, blockchain technology, and then they talk about smart contracts. So highlighted here, I just want to go over a couple of things. So it says uh, in this article, typically developers rely on centralized cloud providers to host front ends, which are the only elements searchable by search engines representing a compromise. However, some blockchain smart contracts, such as those on the internet computer protocol, can be directly indexed by all major search engines without the need for front ends on public clouds. This capability underscores the decentralized nature of Web3, where smart contracts can achieve greater accessibility and visibility across the internet, contributing to a more open and transparent digital ecosystem. This fits, this fits right into the ethos of what cryptocurrency is looking to do, even the playing field in the world of finance for the everyday user, and that is what the ICP technology can do for Web3 and smart contracts. Now let's jump in to ICP's price, where are we, where have we been, and potentially where are we going? So uh, make sure to like this video. Let's get started. ICP currently sitting at $7.21 with a market cap of $3.36 billion, circulating supply of uh, $466 million out of $520.5 million. Now, the thing where a lot of people point to ICP and say, look, it's not a good investment, the one thing they point to is tokenomics and the inflation rate. So I'm just going to break that down real quick. So I talk about unlocks, right? So ICP has an unlock typically at the, on the 11th of every month. And the next one is going to be tomorrow, which is roughly 2.37 million ICP tokens, which is around half a percent of their total supply, which comes out to around $17 million at its current market cap. And this is all going to the seed and private sale investors. Now, this will end uh, around one year from now, around June to July of 2025. Um, and then the other thing is, well, look, it's got an infinite supply. They can just keep printing. They do keep printing. Yes, but guess what else has an infinite supply? Solana has an infinite supply. Uh, Ethereum has an infinite supply. So the way they pay their validators and people that are staking through the staking rewards and Epoch rewards is they're minting of new tokens. They use that to pay now. The, the right projects will also have a deflationary mechanism, which is what ICP has. So this is a great visual breakdown from the internetcomputer.org as far as how the tokenomics and the mechanism works. So you have minting and burning. I'll keep it super simple. They mint new tokens to pay validators and pay the epoch rewards. On the other end, as more people come and build applications and use the internet computer protocol, there is a burning of the ICP. So we always talk about how Ethereum becomes an, a deflationary. Well, it only becomes deflationary if we're if the people are using the project, if people are using layer one, which drives up usage, drives up transaction fees, and drives up the burning, which ultimately outpaces the inflation. We are currently not there yet for ICP, but if you believe in everything Internet Computer is doing, and if you believe they're going to onboard massive amounts of users, which we here at Sensitive Crypto do believe, then the burning will outweigh the minting. And so, yes, no cap supply. Ideally, you want to have a max cap supply. But at the end of the day, this thing is looking to scale globally. 
with millions of transactions per second. So as long as people continue to build and use the internet computer, uh, the burning will outpace the minting, hence making it deflationary, not inflationary. Let's take a look at the ICP chart. This thing actually looks pretty good. This is ICP on the four hour. We are currently consolidating right around our equilibrium zone, which is uh, between $7 and three cents and $7 and 16 cents. If I remove this and we throw on our Bollinger Bands, we can see the bands are started to constrict. And last time we had a constriction in those Bollinger Bands, we saw a big price move. It was to the downside. Now we expect this, this next one, Barring any uh, any new country coming out and selling or mass liquidations from Mt. Gox or anything crazy that can happen, we do expect the price of ICP to move forward. And if we zoom out to the daily, we can see here it's been pretty bad price action, not just for ICP, but for the entire altcoin markets after ICP got to a local high of around $21. Buying it at $7 is at a very, very steep discount for a project that not only has nothing changed fundamentally, in fact, it has gotten better fundamentally and they're onboarding new projects. But if we do get that move up, those Bollinger Bands get tighter. We do get that massive move up from ICP. The first immediate level we'll be looking at is not too far away, right around $8.35. And the next key level, my friends, is gonna be right around that $11. This is where we build very strong support. And this is where we also came back to retest that support, but ultimately lost it back on June 11th of this year. Now, how high can ICP go? It is currently sitting at, let's call it a $4 billion market cap. We know it had an all-time high of $700. Do I think now with the information we have and everything coming and going around and people being onboarded, do we think it can get up to $700? This cycle, potentially no. In the next 10 years, 15 years, if the network continues to grow, they continue their partnership path, they continue to add money and resources into their ecosystem, absolutely. If this thing is deflationary, absolutely. The private seed, all the funding, the token unlocks will be gone by then. But for this cycle, I think 80 to $100 is very, very realistic for ICP. And I'm actually being a little bit more on the conservative side, which right now would put you at around a 10 to 12X for the price of ICP. Where else can you get a 10 to 12X in the next, let's call it 18 months, 12 to 18 months on a top 25 project that is known globally, that has the highest amount of top level scientists working on the project that does what a lot of projects aim to do, but just aren't able to do. I'm curious to know what is your price prediction for this bull market cycle for ICP, drop it in the comment section. Also, if you enjoy the ICP content, we do have a playlist. Go watch all of our ICP videos and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.